Hi, everybody. It's Wednesday, and welcome aboard as we uh, bring you another edition of ProLine, the NCAA tournament winding down, the NIT winding down, the other two tournaments uh, coming to a conclusion as well, the CBI and the CIT. Lots of NBA, and of course, the baseball season starting tomorrow. Lots of information to tell you about that. Paul Bovey's here. My name's Dave Koken, and we're glad to have you with us on this Wednesday. Let's jump right into it, Paul. You've got uh, a big play in the NBA tonight, which people can get online at ProLineTV.com. Tell us about it. That's right, Dave. ProLineTV.com. I have my NBA Shocker of the Month. This is on the heels of my uh, winning NBA Total of the Month and my NBA Game of the Month. And I just come off an excellent NCAA Tournament Game of the uh, of the year with a total on NCLIU over. And I got lucky the other day. Arizona covered the spread against UConn, but we got in under the number for my NCAA Game of the Year on the tournament. So uh, I'm looking for big things tonight, NBA Shocker of the Month. Uh, it's an underdog. I expect them to win outright and win comfortably. And that's hey. available, ProLineTV.com. There you go. Check it out. You know, sometimes taking those points does come in handy. <laughs> uh, I had my NIT game of the year last night, and it got there with Colorado. They lost the game by one. Really exciting game. I thought Colorado would win by a couple of points, and it looked like they would. Uh, they were up 59-54 pretty late. They just didn't play well in the last couple of minutes. But fortunately, they didn't lose by much. They only lost by one. So uh, as far as the spread's concerned, it's a winner. Colorado plus the points gets the money. I also had a really big play on Vancouver in the NHL, so had a really good night overall. Uh, tonight, I've got one of my gigantic plays going. It's my college basketball total of the year. I'll tell you, it's not a great Oregon matchup. Uh, I love this total. Uh, it's the best one I've seen in a while. Let's put it that way. I guess a, uh, uh, a real edge to be had uh, the way these teams are, are playing, and uh, I think you've got a very strong play tonight. College basketball total of the year. Now, online, it, it, you just, Paul was just talking about the website, ProLineTV.com. You can get this game there or at a few other websites as well. 500 bucks because this is a, a really big game, an overall game of the year. And I charge a lot of money for those. Uh, I will get people to sign up for that online at 500 bucks. And believe me, if you want to sign up with 500 bucks, I'm certainly not going to complain. The game's going to get there for you. And if you're a big player, hey, it's worth it. However, I am going to make this game available to everybody for just $25. The only catch is you got to call the office, and, and I'm not going to I'm not going to BS you. We want to tell you about what we've got available in baseball. Uh, now you don't have to buy it; that's up to you. Uh, but uh, I, I want you to know about it. Baseball being a sport that I'm extremely strong at, uh, it is my best overall sport. I think it, for most handicappers, you can you can argue it's their best overall sport just because of the options that are available in baseball. So yeah, I want a chance to tell you about the baseball, and that's why you're getting 475 bucks off the price. But for 25 bucks. You're getting a really big play tonight, and it's an opportunity to jump in on this early bird rate in baseball, which is still at a, it's on the table until the end of the day today. Season starts tomorrow, so the regular rates go into effect at that point. But you can still get this month, this first month of the season, forty nine bucks. It's a lot of baseball action between now and the end of the month. Uh, we're not talking the end of March because that's only one day. Obviously, I'm talking through April thirtieth. All my baseball action plays. For only $49. Uh, that's what they're going to tell you about when you call. Again, if you don't want it, don't buy it. That's going to say no thanks. Just I just want the big game. No problem there. There's no obligation. You'll get the big game for just $25. But I hope you consider the baseball because I think you'll do really well with it. And uh, I know I've got one play that I like quite a bit on opening day. The number to call, 1-866-841-1665. 1-866-841-1665. And don't forget... We uh, daily free plays, which quite frankly uh, uh, haven't been very good lately. But well, sometimes they run that way, and they are games that aren't. They're not good enough to go out of the service. I'm not going to again. I won't bullshit you on this stuff either. The free plays are basically for recreational betters, just looking for a little bit of fun. They run about fifty fifty. Okay, if they ran better than that, they actually would be service selections. But if it's, if it agrees with something you like then it's good to have. If it's against something you might like without a real strong opinion on it, might be a good game to get off. Anyway, the free plays are easy to get. Just text my name, Kogan, C-O-K-I-N, to 313131, or 
You can just uh, call a toll-free number one triple eight seven one two sixty eight hundred and get the games on tape each day. Again, that's one triple eight seven one two sixty eight hundred or text Coke at thirty one thirty one thirty one. Okay, let's talk about a basketball game. Sorry that took such a long time, but there's a lot of information to give you. Uh, Pistons and Pacers tonight. Paul, the Pacers are holding on to that eight spot, but just barely. Boy, they got a good win against the Celtics on Monday night. That was a very important win for that team. They're even in the loss column uh, with Charlotte, and you got one other team that's still hanging around in that race as well. Detroit, mathematically still alive, but they're the next team to go out. Um, they're not going to make it. There's just not enough games left for them. So unless they won out, which is highly unlikely, the Pistons are not going to make it. So it's a bigger game than Indiana. But you got to pay the price. It's a pretty good-sized number on the Pacers as well. Well, I don't know if it's a bigger game for Indiana because Detroit is on a respirator, and I'm sure the way they're looking at things is, hey, if we win this game, we're going to get one game closer in the loss column, and they're clinging to a, a thread of hope right now, but there is hope. And when I look at this game, it's very hard to lay points in this matchup. Yeah. These teams are really evenly matched. They played a couple games back in February. One of the games went to overtime. The other game was a one-point victory for Indiana. And then they played the other night, I think four nights ago. Detroit wins 100-88. to But look at the free throw shooting. Indiana shoots 7 of 19 from the free throw line. Go figure. The teams combined 21 of 40 from the free throw line and 17 out of 32 uh, from beyond the arc. Uh, just doesn't make any sense. But... The point being that these teams are really close. So now Indiana opens up about a six-point favorite. It's up to seven. The over and under has been moving up a little bit. It was at 200. It's now at 201. I had a lean on this game. And again, Dave, this isn't my best play. Far from it. But I'd have to grab the points here, and I'd have to look for the game to go slightly over the number, especially if Ben Wallace does not play. He didn't play in the last matchup. Uh Coach has been sitting him for the most part. He has a sore knee. If he does sit, the game is likely to tip to about 205, 206. And I'd have to grab those seven points and look for Detroit to get in under the number of the spread here. You know, the thing I like about the Pistons, and there's not much to like about them, they're a bad basketball team, but they've had very few games where they just mailed it in. Uh, the team has continued to make a solid effort. And so they've got... You know, they've got some pretty close losses on there. Even their most recent losses, six, seven points, they've been right there. So they're, they're battling. And, you know, I think it's a bigger game for Indiana just because the realistic playoff hopes are there for the Pacers. They're really not there for the Pistons. And I think, I think the players know that. But at the same time, I don't think the Pistons want to get basically eliminated by one of their rivals in a team they are still at least chasing in the playoffs. So I would agree. Uh, I think the Pacers probably will win the game being at home, but it's just too much. There's just, to me, no value in laying points with Indiana because there's a little inflation built into the line to begin with here. Right number in this game is probably about four and a half or five. You're paying a premium because, you see, this is, this is where handicappers, uh, where the pros have it over the squares. The squares have a tendency to look at this stuff and say, well, the Pacers need the game. I, I, I'm going to play that. You're not getting any value doing that. The odds maker knows the same thing you do, and he's adjusted it into the line. And, and this is a, we talked about this last week. I, I think it was the it was the Colorado Kent State game in uh, in the NIT. And Kent State was in a terrible scheduling spot as far as the travel is concerned. I mean, they they've been all over the place. St. Mary's, then they went back uh, east and played uh, in uh, in New England uh, at Fairfield. And then they're right back across the country again at Colorado. And I, I can't tell you how many so-called analysts I saw looking at this and saying, well, I like Colorado because you know, Kent State, they, they're not going to be up to this. What they didn't factor in was that the odds maker knew that. It was, you know, what do you think? The odds maker's stupid? You, know, you think the odds maker's going... Really? I didn't know they had all that travel. Oh, geez. They made the line like three points higher than it should have been. The number should have been six, six and a half. That's the right number. They adjusted it all the way up to nine and a half. 
in what that meant was that Colorado was still in a very good situation to win the game, but there was no longer any value in playing it because they pumped the lineup too high. It's not as dramatic here, but it, it's still there. The number of this game is not where it should be in terms of the value, getting, getting the value with the team you think is going to win the game. So to me, you know, I'm a value guy. I would play the Pistons here or I wouldn't play it at all. Uh, and I, I don't really like the Pistons because the situation does favor Indiana, in my opinion. So it's a no play for me, but if you're, if you're looking for a lean, I always go value on the lean. I would take the, the uh, Pistons plus the points. Let's recap what we've got again. Huge play for me. College total of the year on the Creighton Oregon game. I think this is really strong. Uh, it's $500 online at ProLineTV.com. So it's obviously only for those of you who are playing a couple of times or thereabouts on the game. Uh, however, if you want to get the game and you're not playing at that level, you don't have to uh, pay that level. You can call the office. $25, 1-866-841-1665, the number to call. That's a great price on a really big play. And same thing for you. you got a, a, a really big game tonight, Paul, at a very small price online. Dave, it's only $15. It's at ProLineTV.com. This is an underdog, and I specialize in underdogs and totals that I expect to win outright. And I love taking underdogs because I can be wrong, and I can still cash a ticket. In other words, if I expect the dog to win the game, but the dog doesn't win the game, like case in point the other day, Arizona-UConn. I knew when they made that line, UConn, in my opinion, was an inflated favorite. It shouldn't have been three points. In fact, I made Arizona one-point favorite, so I turned around, I took the three, and they sneak in under the number. I'm wrong, but I cashed my ticket. Same scenario here tonight. I expect this dog to win outright, but in case they don't, they'll get in under the number. $15, ProLineTV.com. And we're talking about good value. That's good value. Take advantage of it. When there's value out there, you jump on it. All right, that's it for our Wednesday edition. We're coming back with more tomorrow. We'll be getting into baseball as well. Uh, Scott Spreitzer and myself are going to do a, a little bit of a, a back and forth, get you some uh, over and under win totals and uh, things like that as the season gets underway. So we hope you'll join us for that on ProLine. For Paul Bovey, I'm Dave Koken. Have a great day. Get some winners.